Greetings everyone, Shana Tova, Umetuka. This is the second night of Rosh Hashanah and I have prepared the Rosh Hashanah meal, uh, well my version of the meal. I'm not Jewish or Jewish Orthodox but I still like to celebrate Rosh Hashanah. And so this is challah, challah bread. I bake this fresh. This is a simka challah. This is a two-layer challah. Here, Simka Hala, celebrate with this bread tonight. They usually have this for either um, weddings um, and like for celebrations or Simka Hala for the new year. And then they'll just have the one layer Hala for Shabbat every Friday. This is the round Hala and this is specific to this holiday Rosh Hashanah. And it sim symbolizes and signifies blessings all year round. Blessings all year round. And so that's why I made a round challah. And we have chicken and it's just protein. There's green beans. Um, and there's a seven vegetables here, seven vegetables with um, carrots, uh, potatoes, green beans, peas. I forget what all is in it, but it's seven vegetables, a mixed vegetable. And then green beans um, signifying like blessings, multiplication and blessings and um, the new year. And then also seven um, representing their seven days that it took for uh, days, the seven days of creation. And so God's seven, this number seven, uh, meaning completion. So God's blessings being complete in your life. So for you to have the all of the complete blessings in your life for this year. And then there is apples and pomegranate with honey. And you can dip your apples in honey or drizzle them with honey. And then also dipping your challah bread in honey. Um, even though they're already sweetened, even though the challah bread already has a hint of sweetness. For Rosh Hashanah, we go all for a whole lot more sweetness, just extra, extra sweet, because we want it to be a sweet new year. That's what Umetuka means. Shana Tova Umetuka, a happy and a sweet new year. The pomegranate have many seeds, and so that represents a fruitful new year, many, many seeds. Um, and the apple, just extra sweetness. And so that is my Rosh Hashanah meal. Um, some meals, they also include like cooking the head of a fish. I don't eat fish head, but it's symbolic of uh, the head of a fish. It means that we're the head and not the tail. But since I don't eat it, <laughs> I didn't cook it. Um, I still do believe that I'm the head and not the tail, but I won't be eating fish head. But um, so yeah, that is my Rosh Hashanah meal. We are in uh, four days of prayer still. And tonight is actually night six of the 40 days of prayer and let me switch um backgrounds here and uh tonight we are going to pray over blessings blessing the blessings of the lord the blessings of the lord they add rich and no sorrow the word of the lord says that um and then also i believe there is a scripture and um numbers let me get that scripture and that also talks about the blessings of the lord just one moment i'm going to pause All right, here is the scripture, Numbers chapter 6, verse 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord makes his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give the peace and give you peace and so i pray that blessing over you um, the lord lift up his countenance upon you bless you and keep you and give you peace um, there is also the scripture that i just mentioned mentioned uh, proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the blessing of the lord brings wealth without painful toil for it the new living translation says the blessing of the Lord makes a person rich and he adds no sorrow. And so I pray the blessing of the Lord, not just the blessing of man, um, not just the blessing that the world can give, um, not just what you can make 
uh, for yourself, however much you can work and give yourself blessing, but the blessing of the Lord, because that is what adds rich to your life and adds no sorrow. The word says, peace, I give to you peace. I leave with you, not as the world gives. And so the peace of God, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, I pray that blessing over you. There's also James chapter one, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the father of lights, whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. And so the good gifts and the perfect gifts of our Father is also what I pray over you. Um, he also says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, that he will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. I also pray uh, blessings over you as you give to others. And as you bless others, may you be blessed to be a blessing. Luke chapter 6, verse 38, give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be put into your lap for with the measure you use it will be measured back to you. And so all that you have sown into others that you've given into others, given them your time, money, resources, may you also receive blessings and favor back to you in multiplication. And so glory to God, let us pray on this day six of this 40 days of prayer and prophecy. Lord Jesus, thank you for your blessings. Thank you, God, that your blessings add rich and they add no sorrow. I thank you, God, for the meal, Father, that we have. Thank you for food. Thank you for providing us with all that we need. Your word says that you do provide for us. You will supply every need according to your glory glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Thank you for keeping your word. Thank you for your good and perfect gifts from you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your blessings of peace that surpass all understanding. Oh, Father, thank you for joy, unspeakable joy, everlasting. Thank you for your love, unconditional, your mercies that are new each morning, your grace that is sufficient. Father, we praise you. We glorify you, Father. Um, I pray even more blessings over uh, your children tonight, as your word says in Numbers chapter 6. Oh, Father, that your face would shine upon them and that you would be gracious unto them even all the more. Lift up your countenance upon we, your children tonight, God, and continue to give us your peace. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We pray these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I pray that you were blessed and even blessed by um, the meal. And um, even though <laughs> you may not be able to physically partake of it, um, hopefully it looked good. <laughs> hopefully it was aesthetically pleasing to you, um, you know. Um, and so um, glory to God, the blessings of the Lord. This is actually day six. I have it here day five. I'm going to have to change that before I post it. <laughs> and put that it's actually day six because yesterday was day five um and so yes glory to god blessings all the more to you good night shana tova umetuka